Let's be honest, do you think the Yankees would have that kind of courage in the midst of all this? Certainly not a good option. Hello friends, big news this Monday, but before we start I ask you to subscribe in the channel and activate the bell to not miss any channel notifications. IT is no secret that the Yankees are looking for help in their outfield. At the same time, the Pittsburgh Pirates are willing to listen to Brian Reynolds. It would make sense for both sides to discuss a possible deal. The Yankees and Pirates have reportedly been in contact regarding Reynolds, who would certainly fill a need in New York. However, the Pirates are also looking for pitchers to head the return, while the Yankees' farm system is led by position players. This has generated some speculation on social media that Nestor Cortez Jr. would be the main attraction in any such deal. The New York Yankees need to hang up the phone if Nestor Cortez Jr. is part of the Pittsburgh Pirates' asking price. If Cortez is part of the asking price, the Yankees need to hang up the phone and move on. Cortez is a key part of their rotation, even with Carlos Rodon coming aboard, and could very well be the best third starter in the game. He is also exactly what the Yankees need in their rotation. One can understand why there would be so much speculation about Cortez. He had a career year in 2022, posting a 2.44 ERA and a .922 whip in his 158.1 innings, striking out 163 batters with 38 hits. Since he is only 28 years old and several years in control of the team, Cortez may be the kind of pitcher the Pirates could build. At the same time, the Yankees theoretically have plenty of depth in the rotation. Frankie Montas and Domingo German are set to fight for the fifth starting spot in the rotation, with Loser going for a long relief role and to be a depth option. Trading Cortez would allow Montas and German to take spots in the rotation, with Clark Schmidt likely serving as the next man up. But that's not the kind of pitching staff a viable candidate would have. Trading Cortez leaves the Yankees in the same place with their rotation. While Aaron Hicks is nobody's ideal situation as a starter, there are other left field options available in free agency. Likewise, there are other teams that may be looking to make a deal without having to let Cortez leave. Trading Cortez, or another team that is asking for him as part of a trade package, should be a hurdle. We know that Nestor Cortez is a key part of the New York Yankees' present and future. Any trade discussion involving him would make no sense. We come to the end of another video, my friends. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like, a hug, and until the next video.